anybody who's hungry. We are getting ready to feed everyone. Women and children up front. John. And another important thing that we have to announce today. There is a very awesome woman who donated some stuff to us yesterday. Really appreciate her. She gave us propane and some lines or whatever. And all the little things that we need. Along with everybody donating. We had no bullhorn. We have uh, we have Bobby over here. Bobby donated $80 in food stamps of his own money Woo! yesterday. He didn't have a penny left in his, in his food stamps for food, so he's feeding you guys today. So uh, if I get a really loud cheer for Bobby, yeah! Yeah! yeah. Awesome! Huh? We have no plates! No bullhorns! <laughs> we have no plates, so you gotta find something to put it in. Nice. Uh huh. And uh, the main goal or purpose of this bus is just to feed the people. Uh huh. Wow, so it's just a kitchen bus, huh? Oh, yeah. We got so many potatoes. I forgot how many pounds of potatoes in the bag we have. Uh huh. A whole bunch of eggs cooked. Lots of people lined, out, lined up outside, ready to eat. Yeah. And, um,. We manifested, or the bus itself manifested all of this because we started out with nothing yesterday. Wow. Now whose bus is this? This is Sky's bus. Uh-huh. He's actually on top of the bus right here. He is. Sky. Yes. Hey, this is your bus. Uh, hello. Hi, thanks for doing this for hey, the Occupy. I say no problem. Yeah, and can you say uh, why you're doing this? Uh, I like feeding people, and I've been a hungry guy a lot my whole life, so... <laughs> the winds have welcomed me with some softness, and I've landed smoothly onto a bus with a full commercial kitchen. Wow. And uh, I'm just trying to pay it forward. A lot of people, a lot of manifestations, a lot of people to thank. Wow. So, thank you, Scott. Um, yeah. We just want to feed everyone, and then we're also eventually going to be, well, I guess this is my time to market us, we're going to be like a mobile venue, which will be like, uh, we'll have a stage built on top of the bus full concert worthy sound system for playing up to a thousand people download any uh, song off the internet and play for somebody if we don't already have it in our database called the magic jukebox project working on it this summer in between we stop occupies everywhere else feed people end of shows whatever we haven't sold we feed people um, but free music and we just sell our food and we just travel around and do our thing and uh, yeah you don't have a health permit at all no. Of the hill for me, so I've actually gone through great, to great lengths to get the ability to. Okay. Yeah, just I can show you the, the statute that says you gotta to distribute. Right. It doesn't say for sale. It just says. Well, distribute. I apologize. Communal meals are so important to start at Occupy Tucson, not only because it teaches us to share our resources, but it's also a way to build solidarity and community. Why do the police care if the mill bus has a health permit? It is obvious that the police don't care about hungry people. The establishment doesn't even provide them with health care. These inhuman regulations stop the hungry from being fed. Is the establishment really trying to starve them? Wake up, people. This genocidal system didn't stop with the Native Americans. Now it is genociding all life on Earth. Okay, we're on. We're on. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're on. So what do you what do you want to know? I want to know what do we have to do to get the bus functioning as a cooking vehicle? Like a its own facility as a solid kitchen. Um, Hey, we need cleaning supplies would be really amazing, like any bleach donations, scrub brushes, scrubbing utensils, anything that gets, like, if it's cleaning stuff, we would love to have it. Um, let's see here, we also need lots of 
Okay, so we need to get somebody to sponsor us for insurance. We need insurance to be able to insure, like, uh, I think it's like a, most places you need like a million dollar parachute policy or something to that effect. But it's usually only like a hundred or two hundred dollars down, so that, I know we need to do something like that, get it started for the bus, along with maybe we need to create some type of non-profit for it would seem logical. Um, on top of that, we need uh, we're gonna need a license through the city, um, and we're gonna have to get a inspection from the fire department, which means eventually we're gonna need a fire suppression system. Unless here they allow you to do drop hoods, then we'll need drop a, a drop hood, which I don't even know what that is, but that's what it's called. Um, we need uh, you know, and uh, intelligent people that can help us make things work better, like if they want to come and look at the bus and give ideas and have ways of making things function better, like our water systems and things like that, we're always for that. Um, really we just need people to show interest and come and see what we're doing and just help us in whatever way they can. And we're not even really looking for cash donations at all. We would prefer if people came out and helped us get each part done separately, you know what I mean, like take that upon themselves instead of putting money in our hands and then, so like, we would much more rather have like the community come together and help and make a community project and so each person like they want to help out with one thing or whatever, we would love that and that's, we just, we just want to feed everyone. Um, we don't have a political side and the only side we have is that we know people out here are hungry so we want to feed them and we figure after they eat they can figure out what they want to do and what they want to change and what they like but they can't do anything whatever they're upset about if they're hungry because they're going to just concentrate on wanting to eat all the time and going all around <laughs> the city to eat instead of being here and communicating with each other to figure out what they want to do next i don't know what else to say other than i'm here to just help whatever is already manifesting continue to manifest well thank you and you're cooking right now i see yeah that's correct well, thank you so much. No problem. I just appreciate having some uh, support from the community, somebody to record what's going on and show interest in what we're doing. Yeah. You know, um, a lot of times when cameras are present, police tend to change a little bit. But I actually think that police officer was not really looking for anything more than do his job, which was somebody called with the telephone and complained, so they have to respond. So they showed up and they just had to do their job, which was tell us that we don't have permits and we can't be doing that. So we said we will stop and now you're here helping us trying to make it so we can continue. And All right. We would like to co cooperate with everybody. We don't want to be like rebels or anything. We just want to make everything work and process speed as many people as possible. Thank you.